Hi, this is Cecilia from Tara by Cecilia, and today is Friday, April 9th, 2021. The tarot card for today is the Knight of Cups from the Urban Tarot by artist Robin Scott. I really like this deck. I'm glad I finally got it in. Now, I have to tell you, I kind of laughed when I came to this card, but it really isn't a laughing matter. It does have the label at the bottom, the seducer. <laughs> and we've all seen this guy. Hopefully none of you have been this guy. You know, that one that shows up at happy hour and stays to charm everyone. All right. And <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, been there, seen that. And no, thank you. So what do we really have going on here today? Well, we do have something which has caught my attention in so far as aspects go. And this is a square between Mars and Neptune. Now we know when it comes to guys like this, Neptune is a big influencer, all right? Because there's always that, what do you call it? Like that dreamy perspective, right? And those rose colored glasses. Not to mention that the moon itself is in Pisces, which really exacerbates this and goes void in the evening. <laughs> so it's like, you know, there is a, a sense of mistrust that actually comes with this card. You know, lies, deceit, jealousy, scandal, you name it. It may not be that dramatic, but there tend to be some suspicions that are here. And it could be, um, you know, in relationships that you have. Um, the best thing that I can advise is, you know, don't commit to anything today, today, tomorrow. You know, wait until the moon has, you know, the new moon has occurred in Aries. And I know that this disappoints so many people, but this really isn't the time to put your faith in any new relationships or to begin any new projects. You know, typically we see this guy as, you know, that romantic fantasy, right? You know, the, the one who comes and just sweeps you off your feet. But in this particular case, anything that seems that way is likely too good to be true. Okay. So, you know, I hate to disappoint, but at the same time, I think that forewarned is forearmed and you know, this goes for you guys out there as well. You know, don't be fooled into thinking that someone, you know, maybe they're misrepresenting themselves on social media or on a dating app, that type of thing. Just, you know, be wary, keep your distance, keep the conversation pleasant. I'm not saying that you have to, uh, you know, totally ignore someone, but I wouldn't commit or involve myself. That's probably the best way to put it. And of course, there's that three month rule to be wary of as well. You know, I, I gotta admit, I was way beyond, you know, this stage before I even heard of the three month rule when someone said something to me one time. So if you've never heard of it, it is, you know, that when people first meet each other, especially in a relationship, like when they start dating, for the first three months, they really don't show their true character. Okay, so, you know, be who you are, be who you say you are, and stick with that. It'll save you a whole lot of problems in the long run. Now, also, when I was talking about, like, the timing of this, all right, you have until about the middle of next month before Mercury even enters shadow. So don't feel like, you know, if you've been trying to use this time to get into a new relationship, that you must do it right now, okay? Um, there are no retrogrades up until the 27th, and Venus, goddess of love, will be moving into home sign of Taurus on the 14th, a much happier place for Venus to be. So, no need to rush things, just be more cautious today, and don't, you know, go head over heels for anything that seems like it's perfect. And that actually goes beyond love as well. So I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.